right, hey, it's Tim Estrella, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm in the 6.2 liter 2019 Chevy Silverado. We're doing the dynamic fuel management system, basically with cylinder deactivation. Fancy marketing term for Chevy. That's cool. Um, I'm with Tim's Brandon, uh, Tim Brandon, sorry, or Brand Man. Um, he's with Chevy, and we're talking about the, uh, he's got an indicator here. He's going to talk to us about what's going to happen when we go through different cylinders and deactivate them. Yeah, so this dynamic fuel management uh, display will help us understand the firing fraction that the engine will run in. A one is eight cylinder, a half is V4, very similar to today's active fuel management. And then we'll have different firing fractions in between a half and one, and also a quite a few less than a half. So we have both fixed firing fractions where the uh, cylinders that we're de and firing always stay the same. V4 is a good example of that. And then we have rotating firing fractions. One third is a very good example of a rotating firing fraction where we're firing one cylinder out of every three and it just keeps going through the firing order, um, you know, repeating that if you will, but it's constantly changing the um, cylinder that it's firing. Okay, cool. So we're going to go do some driving, but we're also going to turn on some AC. So if you have a problem with the sound, I apologize. We're roasting in here. <laughs> I am too. Onward and upward. So we have eight cylinders. So right now we're in one mode and we have all eight firing. I believe that's how I heard you say that. You got it. All right. You're right on. Um, so I, I've heard this theory out there a little bit that you can actually get down to one cylinder. True or false? Now the hardware is capable of that, the but, but we're or the system's capable of that, but we're not utilizing it down that, that low. The okay. minimum number of cylinders that we will operate on is two. Okay. So a good example of two cylinder operation would be a one quarter firing fraction, okay? That's two eighths, right? Is, is that enough cylinders to move a truck of this capacity? In some cruise conditions at, at you know lower speeds, it's, it's more than enough actually, it's sufficient. Okay. And then there's some, you know, slight downgrades, not necessarily full diesel, but some slight downgrades where that would be used as well. So hopefully we'll get a, you know, a good uh, indication of that on our drive here. Uh, oh, and uh, we should talk about this as we go into bumpy stuff. Michael from the communications team is our videographer, so if you have problems with that, I'll send this <laughs> email below and you just need to let them know about the uh, variations of the camera. My channel is anything. If they, my channel is anything, it's fun. He's got to have a good time. Yeah. So when we get out to the road here, outside of the refuge, we're going to take a right. Okay. And essentially, the speed limit is about 45 mile an hour. Once you get up to speed, we'll do some cruising and we'll see what kind of firing fractions we can we can achieve out here. Now, is there an indicator on the dash that tells you what cylinders I'm in as well? No, there is not for, for the new uh, uh, Silverado. So. There's, but there was in, in the GMC model, wasn't there? No, the, um, the the new truck does not have an indicator. Okay. There's just there's there's 17 different patterns we can run. So it's too there's too many essentially to communicate to the customer. You know the old system, the V4 and the V8, with only two, it was it was much more um, I'll say clear what what was going on and easily you know easily communicated. Wow. Yeah, I guess if you have a customer that's talk, that would go to the dealer saying, hey, my truck's running at 7 8 they may have a weird yeah. service order with the dealer. Like, oh, what do you mean it's on 7 8 So we still use a lot of one half. I mean, that's a very common firing fraction. But you'll also see these different firing fractions as well. Um, again, when we'll, we'll do some more driving here. And okay. Earlier we saw 2 thirds, we saw 7 9 um, for those that are concerned about responsiveness and, and getting back to V8, uh, we 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 um, get back to V8 very quickly. There's there should be no concern with responsiveness whatsoever. Yeah, I mean it, it's throttle input too. I can tell when I hit the throttle a little bit. I can see the modes change. If I lay off a bit, I can tell immediately that you know things are changing. 
there was a five eighths, two thirds. Hmm. And this connected the OBD sensor. That's where we're getting it from. Yeah, the, the the diagnostic link connector, and we're reading the uh, GM land message from the ECM. That's a lot of acronyms. <laughs> What about serviceability and repairability? Is there any concerns with the active fuel management system as far as uh, wear and tear in the engine, uh, oil in the cylinders? Is there anything going on with that? Nope. There's, uh, you know, there was a one third and a one fourth, by the way. Um, there's no, there's no concerns. All we're doing is expanding essentially the AFM that we've had uh, for a number of years now, right? And expanding it from being capable of deactivating four cylinders to being capable of de deactivating any cylinder. So we run the same durability schedules um, and the, re the reliability and durability is, uh, uh, I'll say, the same and, you know, it's equally as, uh, equally as good. So. Yeah, very cool, very cool. So on the back here, Tim, you can see um, in this cutaway the oil control valves that are actually mounted to the block. So we have eight oil control valves now because we can deactivate any cylinder. And these oil control valves are faster response, right, because of the fact that we're having to change the, it's in most patterns anyway, having to change the cylinders that are deactivated and firing, right? As opposed to today where V4 is a fixed pattern and we're always deactivating and firing the same cylinders in a fixed pattern. We have many rotating patterns now, right? So, like I say, the, how, how these are mounted, the type of, the, the, of oil control valve as far as the response time is different. Um, we've added the uh, deactivated lifters to all the cylinders, right? Because we need to deactivate any cylinder or have the capability to deactivate any cylinder. And that's essentially the short story. I mean, the, the block, the block itself, the casting changes because you have to have um, ports, oil, you know, oil passages between this oil control valve and the appropriate set of lifters, right? So the block has some subtle changes, but the combustion system itself is is unchanged. Very cool. All right, hey. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for seeing this really cool demonstration on the cylinder deactivation here, active fuel management, dynamic fuel management, whatever buzzword, bingo word you need there. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, however how that works. Different variations of pickup truck, plus SUV, pickup truck, and SUV. Uh, hate mail, very important. Tim at pickuptruck.com, that's the email. Comment below hate mail. I love trolls, love to hear it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.